What is up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Faye, I'm 32, and I am now an Integrated of Masters nursing student. I am still continuing my BN program as I have to complete the three years BN program that I'm already on. And then I stay on for one more year and end up dual trained in two fields of nursing. Currently I'm studying adult nursing and then I'll be studying mental health nursing. I'll have an Integrated Masters degree in those two fields of nursing. I actually start back to university doing online work next Next week from the 19th but the following week from the 26th of September all the way up till 6th of November I will be out on clinical placement so I thought I would do a what's in my clinical bag with you because I have just packed it all ready to go first up this is the bag itself and it's kind of the same but different all the other nursing students on YouTube have got something similar now the one that I have got is from Amazon and the ones that I've seen other nursing students use on YouTube, the straps have been the same colour as the bag. This is by a company called Flowless Workshop, so F-L-O-L-E-S-S. -S. And I think it was around £20-ish. I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can go and have a look. But I don't think you can tell on camera just how big it is. It is huge. You get the handles on it if you want to carry it or there is the option of a strap, which is probably what I will use. It does have a part on the back as well, if you want to get this for anything other than nursing school, but it does fit over a pushing trolley, so if you're going on holiday anywhere, it can slot over the top of your trolley bag and it holds on that way. In my front pocket, I have a million ID badges, lots of lanyards and lots of badge reels. On this badge reel is my student nurse badge reel, and I got that from Etsy about a year ago. I have got on here some um, medical cards that are helpful to have. Now, I won't go too in depth in these because I shared them on my nursing school pie haul video. So I'll leave a little link if you can go and watch that. But I've also found out since I did that video, you don't have to just buy ID badge holders to put these in. They had a little hole at the top so that you could clip them onto the extension on the badge reels or on your lanyards. So I won't go through them and show them because they are in my other video. But I do have these as well. And I got these from Claire Carmichael when I first started my degree. It has different stuff on it. So it shows your documentation, how to do admissions, how to do discharges, wound management, observation ranges, care plans fluid intake, blood gases, BMI calculation, weight conversion. Everything you need to know about checking your patient over is on there and all the other helpful information are on the other cards. So that is something that obviously I keep on myself. My other ID badge, I just have this on. I don't keep this on my ID badge reel. I just didn't want to put it in my bag. It is just a little hand sanitizer and it smells so nice. It doesn't smell like that really nasty smell. It's got quite like a nice little berry smell to it. And this is one of the badge reels that I showed on my nursing school supply haul video as well, which just says fueled by caffeine and chaos, and that is cute. And the reason I've got another badge reel is because sometimes I just like to change them up. I like to have options. Now, this is a huge bundle of IDs. This is an ID badge to get into certain wards in the hospital. It's got my maiden name on it. So when I go back to placement on the 26th, I need to go down to the office and get a whole new one of those. This lanyard is one I've had since I started, which just says student nurse on it, and it has got my Royal College of Nursing badge. That's not where I go to school, by the way. My dementia friend pin. This has my NHS ID security thing on it, so I'm not gonna show you that, but that is my ID for getting into the systems in the hospital. Again, that's got my maiden name on it, but I've already contacted them and they're gonna print a new one out for when I start. This is just my university ID. This one has got my um, marriage name on it, so that one is fine and good to go. In one of the side pockets, I have just put in my um, show bottle, which is insulated and keeps your water cool. Now, if you've been here to my channel before, you'll know that my actual love of my life for when it comes to water and what I take on placement with me is actually my hydro jug. And this is what I typically take on placement because it lasts me the whole day and it has the strap to carry it on. And I just thought I would put it in the side just to show you that you can have a bottle of water because not everyone's going to have hydro jugs and still have room in the side pocket. That's how big they are. But my second side pocket, I have a lot in here. Starting <laughs> in with pens so i have 
my multi-way pens, my big multi-way pens. And the reason I have all of them is because two of them have the colours that you need. So the red, green, blue and black because you can't write in lilac, bright green, baby pink and baby blue on any of your documentation. But I've kept them just in case any of my highlighters run out, which I also have in here. Because obviously with it being different colours and brighter, it can highlight things. So I like to take the smaller ones, the different size ones. So you get a big one and a small one of each with the different colours on. And these have a little hook on them, so I tend to put these ones onto my lanyard and keep that on me. And I just keep these in my bag just in case they run out, because obviously sometimes they do. As I just said, I do have mini highlighters in there as well, which I do keep in my scrubs pocket or my tunic pocket. The reason I've got small ones is obviously so they don't take loads of room up in your pocket. And I just use these to highlight my handover sheet when there's anything important that I need to know about. I also keep just a random spare black pen in there because, again, just in case any of the others run out or if I lose one, always good to keep a black pen because that's the only thing you're allowed to document in. Also in this pocket I have my observation sheets which I won't go into too much detail because they are on my supply haul video but I keep them in my side pocket and then when I get to clinical I will take them out and put them into my scrubs or tunic pocket and the reason I don't put them on my pocket straight away is obviously because I've got to drive to clinical so I don't want bulky stuff sticking into my hips as I'm driving so I keep things like that in my bag until I get to place them. Same goes for my little notebook. I have a notebook that fits into my pocket just to keep notes of anything that I come across. Maybe things that I haven't heard of before or abbreviations or maybe requests that patients have asked that I might forget about later that I need to go and report. Anything like that I just keep this in my pocket and make notes in that. I do also have this um, clinical pocket reference for nurses. I bought this when I first started my degree. I'll be totally honest with you, I've never actually used it. And that's not because it's not good, it's because I always forget I've got it. And when I look through it, I think, why do I not use this? It really is handy. It literally has everything you could possibly think you need to know about nursing is in there from blood transfusions, psychological evaluations, physiological valuations, skin assessments, laxatives you know it's got medications in here it's got sepsis six pathway literally got everything in this book and i probably should use this more and with me being a senior this year i probably will refer to this quite a bit and it is designed to fit into your pocket hence why it is called a clinical pocket reference i also have in here my little notebook that i showed on my um supply video and this is from why so scrunchy as well the same place i got my lanyard from and where i get some of my nursing scrunchies from this is just to keep for me to reflect on things that might happen on placement and and things that I want to learn more about in depth as opposed to just being on a scruffy little note in my pocket on my pocket notebook. Okay, there is also another pocket on the back but I haven't actually used that for anything just yet because there's that many other pockets that have actually ran out of things to put in them but I'm sure I'll find a use for that at some point. To go into the main pockets. So, I'll try and show you inside. Hold on, let me get a better view for you. This is inside the bag and you can't really tell on camera but it is huge just to give you an idea this has got all of these books in bp cuff my stethoscope bag i'll get them all out in a minute for you but just trying to give you an idea and it still has a hell of a lot of room and i'll be able to fit my lunch bag in here i'll be able to fit more books in here it is just massive so i'm going to do the inside of the bag by having the bag on the floor because obviously i've got to reach into this one first up is my stethoscope case and my stethoscope. I have shown you this on other videos before, so again, I won't go into too much detail, but I just have my little stethoscope case and inside here I have my pen lights. I have two of the pen lights from Amazon and bandage scissors. And I have my stethoscope. I have the classic Lipman, Lipman 3 classic stethoscope in seal blue, that's C-E-I-L. And it is absolutely gorgeous, just love it. Now, stethoscopes are not something you have to get as a nursing student. However, I do advise that if you can, then you should. And that is because I have been out onto a community placement before and it was a community cardiology placement. And I used my own stethoscope on every single patient that I met. Which leads me on to something else that you don't particularly have to get. However, it is encourageable to get one. And I got mine off eBay when I first started my degree. And I think I paid about £6 for it brand new. 
and it is a BP cuff. Again, when I was on my cardiology placement, I used this on quite a lot of patients because they do encourage it, especially on a cardiology placement, to be able to do manual blood pressure. It comes like this, just a blood pressure cuff with a really nice little bag, a little pocket in the front, and the sphygmometer, the cuff. It's really, really good, and it's actually really good quality, the one that I've got. Not only is it good to have for placements, but it is good to have to practice. When I started my degree, I never in a million years thought I was gonna be able to get manual blood pressure. My cousin, who is also a nurse, told me to keep practicing at home because one day it will click and you will just know how to use one. And lo and behold, it did and it's down to practicing on myself, on my daughter, on my husband. You know, I practiced on anybody that would let me take their manual blood pressure and now I can just do it like second nature. Also in this middle bit, I have my student planner. You absolutely 110% need to get a planner. So much to remember in nursing school that you really need to take your planner with you because you could be on placement and you could get an email and it could be a date that you need to remember having a planner on you, you really, really need to do that. So just get into a habit of taking it with you. I also in here have my medication revision guide, which is from Nurse Beck Supplies and wish I'd have had this from year one. And basically it comes like this. I think it comes in another color, like a lilac -y color or pink. And inside basically any drugs that you've come across, it's got all the information that you need to know and you write it in and it's in a little book like this which makes it so much easier to come back to and revise from when you have your drug calculations exams or like us i'm not sure if other uh, nursing schools do it but we have to be prescribing ready so we can't actually prescribe we have to do an extra course i think for that after we qualify but we have to be at a level where we are ready to prescribe. In connection with the numeracy side of things, I will be keeping this in my bag to refer back to throughout the year. And it is just literally starting from the basics, hundreds, tens and units basics, which is what I need. And then going a bit further and further until you get to two full drug calculations and breakdowns of how to work them all out. So that will be a little Bible of mine I will not be removing from my bag this year. Also in conjunction with that is this, and as you can see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this is pretty battered. And the reason that this is battered is because it has been so well used. This book was given to us by our university when we started and it really has been my most used book out of everything that I've used. And it is a concise guide to medicines and drugs. And it literally tells you everything you need to know about any drug that you come across. And also another book that our university gave us which has also come in handy and is a little bit battered is the dictionary for nurses and healthcare workers and this helps with any mumbo jumbo that you might come across or anything that you're not sure of word wise or anything that you want explaining it's literally got everything in here and it's only little as well so it is handy to keep hold of inside there is a pocket here i will show you in a minute what i've got in there and two pockets here so this is quite a big pocket and this one is more, I'm assuming, designed for your phone. And in here I have kept a locker, padlock and a key, just in case we do get hold of a locker. Not something that happens very often as a student nurse, you tend to just get told to dump your bag anywhere. But on the other occasion that there might be a free locker, I always like to keep a padlock just in case. Inside this inner zip is actually a waterproof pocket, which is really good. So I'm not sure if that's picking it up, but it's really thick waterproof plastic. And so in here I put in the cutlery that I showed on my supply haul video. And that is because if I'm rinsing my cutlery when I'm out on placement, it's gonna be a little bit wet. So I have got that in the waterproof pocket just to stop it ruining any of my books. And last but not least, I also have in here a bag that I believe everybody should carry with them and it is my little essential bag and basically in here I have things like ibuprofen and paracetamol because getting a headache when you're out on placement or period pains you're just genuinely feeling under the weather having no pain relief on you is gonna make your day suck trust me I have feminine products I have toilet wipes because I don't know how people go through the day without toilet wipes. I use them every time I go to the toilet and especially when it's that time of the month, I like to be extra fresh, so I keep them. Uh, our placements, our clinical placement days often are 
nine times out of 10, 12.5 to 13 hour days. So I like to take toothbrush, uh, toothbrush and toothpaste with me just to freshen up throughout the day. I keep a nail file in there because we are not allowed long nails. They have to be short, filed, neat, tidy, no varnish on them, not even clear. And sometimes it can be a Sunday night and you're very, very tired and you forget to file your nails ready for the next day for placement. So if you go in there and they're a little bit long, just keep one of these in your bag and you can go and touch it up on your break. I also have body spray in here because we are in encourage not to put a lot of perfume on because some patients might be allergic to it, some patients might just be extra sensitive to it, patients and staff might not like the smell of it and you have to kind of be a bit thoughtful to other people but I don't like going in and just smelling of hospital or I don't know I just like to have a little bit of a fresh smell to me, obviously I shower, obviously I wear deodorant but I like to have just a little bit of body spray on so it's not as strong as perfume but it is a nice little sweet smell and I just top that up when I'm on my break. Also keeping here hand cream because boy do your hands and your cuticles suffer as a student nurse because you are consistently washing your hands so your hands do get very very dry and having a good hand cream is really 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 essential and last but not least in this bag are just some spare bobbles and some spare bobby pins nine times out of ten i just wear a scrunchie in my hair and shove it up in a scruffy bun or i will have some form of hair clipping so i don't often have to use these spare ones in here but you are not allowed your hair on the collar if you are working in the uk in the in the nhs yeah it's an up off the collar policy so i actually wouldn't be allowed to have it like this it'd have to be clipped again like this and so if the clip breaks during your placement or a bobble snaps you're really going to be in a lot of trouble because you're not allowed your hair past your collar so always keep spare bobbles in your bag if you have long hair so that wraps up what is in my clinical bag video for you today. I hope you liked this video. I hope it gave some of you a bit of encouragement before you start your degree. I hope it helped to give you a bit of an idea of what to take with you and what not to take with you if you are struggling with that idea. If you did like this video, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I hope you'll tune in for another video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.